Now that we're finished assembling the application equipment, let's get started. Raise the vehicle on a lift, raise it to a comfortable overhead height that's high enough that you won't bump your head. Be sure to follow the recommended procedures from your lift manufacturer and don't forget to set the lifts for safety. Before you begin applying product, inspect the undercarriage. Look for access points, such as drain holes and removable plastic plugs. You're looking for access points to the key rust-prone areas where moisture gets trapped, such as rocker panels, where you can use a 90 or 360 degree wand. In some instances, you may have to use a large screwdriver to enlarge the drain holes. Inner frame rails, wheel lifts, and wheel wells are especially prone to rust. Usually there is a plastic plug you must remove to get to the inner wheel well area. And most importantly, the bottom of the doors, the drain holes there. All these areas, also known as bent lip panels where moisture gets trapped. Bent lip panels are seam areas that are overlapped. One panel overlaps the other and is spot welded. These areas are 256 times more likely to rust than any other part of the vehicle, according to the Society of Automotive Engineers. Why? Moisture gets trapped between the seams and spot welding burns away the galvanizing. Now let's begin. Safety first. Remember to wear all your safety equipment. This includes gloves, a respirator, safety glasses for your eye protection. Refer to your rust application manual for greater details on safety. Now set your regulators and gauges to 60 pounds per square inch. Using existing drain holes on the underside of the vehicle and utilizing the pressure pot, apply the caramel colored rust protection to all inner body panels. First, the rocker panels with a 90 or 360 degree wand. Often, there is more than one drain hole or access point for each area. It is a good idea to apply product to each access point in an overlapping manner or a crisscrossing manner. Watch for the product to miss out the other end of the panel. This ensures the product is reaching all the key rust prone areas. Now do the inner frame rails. Again, watch for product to mist out the other end of the panel. Now the wheel lips. Be sure to remove the axis plug first. If you're using a 360 degree wand, stake the wand throughout the wheel lip. Often it is easy to get to the bottom of the doors while the vehicle is still on the lift. Again, notice the product misting by the windows. Now the entire door is protected. Use the 90 degree spray wand for hard to reach areas, such as the top of fuel tanks, tail lights, inner frame areas, and the back of the bumpers. Your 360 degree stiff wand works great for hard to reach areas of a pickup truck bed. Let's recap our procedures up till now. We first inspected the vehicle to determine our access points and drain holes for the inner panels. We wore our safety equipment. We set our pressure regulator and gauges to 60 pounds per square inch. And we applied product to all inner panels, wheel wells, doors, and frame rails through our access panels and drain holes. Now it's time to complete the undercarriage with our rust protection or sound shield. Starting from the front of the vehicle, working backwards, and utilizing the Graco pump system to a clean, dry undercarriage, apply sound shield and or the rust protection to the entire undercarriage of the vehicle, except the drivetrain, exhaust, and suspension. Spray the sides first, working inward. Try not to stay underneath where you just sprayed. Instead of using a Graco pump system, you may wish to use a siphon canister system that we assembled earlier. The canister system gives you a more precise inventory control method. You'll know exactly how many quarts you have used on a vehicle. Any overspray on the exhaust system can be wiped off very easily. If the vehicle is damp, extremely cold, and frost is developing, 
And in all plastic areas, it's a very good idea to apply a thin layer of caramel colored rust protection for best adhesion. It's also important to note that rust protection or sound shield will not adhere to dirt, mud, grease, oil, or frost. So you must first pressure wash it on the carriage if necessary and allow it to dry. And again, for best adhesion, it's best to apply a thin layer of the caramel coned rust protection since this formula will displace water. We're now finished with the undercarriage of the vehicle. Let us finish the wheel wells by lowering the vehicle to approximately waist high. Again, don't forget to reset the lift safety. Now, to a clean dry wheel well, apply rust protection with the 90 degree hook wand to the wheel lift area. Utilizing the Graco pump system or your siphon canister system, apply sound shield or your rust protection to the entire wheel well. Again, be sure to spray that wheel lift area. Now lower the vehicle to the ground. Let's go to the engine compartment. Raise the hood and utilizing the pressure pot system, apply the caramel colored rust protection to all inner panel boxed areas of the hood compartment, including the inner panels of the hood, the battery box, the inner panels and inner top areas of the fenders, and apply the caramel colored rust protection to all seam areas sheet metal and their supports, including the inner and outer fender seams, the shock and strut supports, the spring supports, the firewall, the radiator supports, the headlight supports and mounting bracket. Now let's go to the trunk area. Raise the trunk lid and again utilizing the pressure pot system, apply the caramel colored rust protection to all inner panel boxed areas of the trunk compartment. Remember to pull back carpeting as required. Do not get rust protection on carpeted areas. Be sure to apply product to the inner panels of trunk lid, the inner wheel wells, the tail light areas. Okay, now let's go to the doors. If you weren't able to reach the door area while it was on the lift, often due to the lift posts, Open the doors now and utilizing a pressure pot system, apply the rust protection to all inner panel boxed areas of the door compartment. Remember, do not get rust protection on carpeted or vinyl leather door inserts. Use the 360 degree stiff wand to apply rust protection to the top of front fender wells, inserting the wand just above the top of the door hinge. Using the 90 degree wand, apply a light bead of rust protection to the bottom seam of the door on the outside of the door. Also use this wand for the drain holes. Let's recap what we've done so far in this section. We applied rust protection to the engine compartment area. This included the inner panels of the hood, the battery box, the inner panels and inner top areas of fenders, the inner and outer fender seams, the shock and strut supports, the spring supports, the firewall, the radiator supports, and the headlight supports and mounting brackets. Then we move to the trunk area and tailgate. We applied product to the inner panels of the trunk lid, the inner wheel wells, the tail light areas, and for pickup trucks and other SUVs, tailgate or hatchback including the bottom lip. Then we finished up with the doors, applying products and all the drain holes and the bottom seam. And thanks for watching this ECP video.